Hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag. And because I like to mix things up a bit, we're going to be talking about what's in my current bag. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to put into my new bag. So if you're curious or nosy about what I keep in my purse, go ahead and settle in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Holly. I'm a lifestyle blogger, but here on YouTube, I stick to beauty, fashion, and self-care. If those things are your jam, then consider subscribing because I'd love to have you in the family. But right now, we're going to jump right into the video. We're going to talk about this bag. It is very old. It is very worn. I've had it for six or seven years now. It is from Fossil. They do not make it anymore. Um, it is just a typical crossbody. It has like a little like zipper bag top. It has an internal pocket that also has a zip. And then it has like some like little side pockets right here. This thing has seen me through so much, um, but it is time to retire it and move on to newer bags. So what's in this bag? The first thing is my Coach Double Zip Wallet. For a while, when I was just running out of the house, I would just stick my phone in here and this is what I would take. So this has like my cards in it. It can fit my phone in it and my keys and like my mask. I can just like stuff all of that stuff in there. Speaking of keys, my keys have gotten much bigger. That's what happens when you get older, you get more keys. Ooh, my mask. This one is from Target. It's one of those like silky feeling ones. That's my per personal preference. Ooh, a pen. This is my husband's favorite brand of pen. Um, and so this is what we have around the house. So this is the pen that I stick in my purse. Ooh, lip gloss. This one just happens to be uh, Bare Minerals in the shade Sincerity. I usually just grab one kind of in a shade like this. I don't use this too often because I have to wear, I have to wear the mask. So not a lot of lip gloss wearing tweezers always have to have tweezers especially when you're out and about and you're in the, like the daylight and you're like oh my gosh there's a hair and if you have a tweezer you can take care of it let's see i think this is the last no two things a mascara this is the rare beauty mascara i usually just put a tube i'll just like throw it in um this is a really good mascara by the way and a hair thing. I like the satin ones. I get mine from Anthropology. They're not the like fancy silk ones from Slip, um, but they're nicer than the ones you can get at Target. Um, they last a little bit better um, and they're like a medium price. I'm going to link everything that I can below if you want to have the same things in your purse as I have in my purse. Okay, so that is what I keep in my bag. As you can see, I am a minimalist when it comes to what I put in my bag. I want to be able to find what I'm looking for. I don't want to have to take a ton of stuff out. And honestly, I keep most of my junk in my car. <laughs> like my hand sanitizer is in my car. I have extra pens in my car. Um, like napkins, all sorts of stuff. Now it is time for the new bag. Like I haven't even taken it out yet and it is from Madewell it is the transport shoulder bag and it retails for $148 I was considering buying a coach bag um since those seem to be cool again but I ended up going with the Madewell you know trying to be financially responsible so one thing to note is that all my bags are black um I keep a pretty minimalist wardrobe. I have all black shoes, all black purses, like all my accessories are for the most part black. And that is because I like to mix and match and I like to know everything's going to go together um, without having a large closet of items. So this is what the bag looks like on the front. So as you can see, it's just like a miniature version of their original transport bag. And it does have the zip top. 
Um, the one thing I do wish is I don't really like the color of the hardware. It looks kind of cheap to me. Um, but Madewell bags hold up. Um, I have the transport bag. That's my <laughs> the other bag I have in my collection. I chose this bag because it, it has the option of being a shoulder bag like this. But it also has the strap so you can wear it as a crossbody. Um, it's also not quite as big as my old bag, as you can see. So there'll be less like digging around to find my stuff. I'm just gonna try to show you the inside. This is what it looks like. It does have like a pocket right here. It doesn't zip, which is kind of unfortunate, um, but since the top zips, I think that'll be okay. Now we're gonna go into what is going to go into this bag and I am going to make a few changes. Uh, first, I'm going to move to a card case. This one happens to be from Kate Spade. It was the best price. I think I paid like $37 for it. I did get it in the green. I really enjoy green, but I also thought it being green, it would like stand out in the black bag a little bit better. So it'll be easy to find. I don't typically carry a cosmetics bag and because I just usually throw in a lip gloss and a mascara, but I decided that I'm going to start carrying one. And this one is from Madewell. Um, it's rather large in comparison to the size of the bag. Um, but this was my answer to the fact that there's not a zip up compartment on the inside. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about in the Madewell bag is the hardware finishes. It just looks kind of cheap. And just to kind of compare, like this is the coach bag finishes like the metal just looks a lot nicer so um i'm a little bit disappointed in that so now we're going to fill the cosmetic case we're going to put in the hair tie the lip gloss the mascara the tweezers and we're going to zip that shut. I think I might end up putting a like hand sanitizer in here um, and then like, um, ooh, like a Listerine spray so you can have that fresh breath. <laughs> and now, in the bag. Pen, in the bag, mask, in the bag. Keys. Boop. Zip it up. So that is what is in my bag. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll really help me as I try to grow my channel. And I do have a favor to ask. I would like you to leave a comment with the bag that you're carrying or the bag you're thinking about purchasing. I do need to replace my other bag, my bigger one. And so I'm on the hunt for another bag um, that isn't a crossbody. So again, thank you so much. And until next time, bye.